guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. I hope you had a chance to watch my Valentine's Day haul from Dollar Tree yesterday. I have been getting several requests to do another splatter screen wreath, and they're one of my favorites to make too. So I thought I would do my first wreath using this little red track sign from Dollar Tree. So you're going to need a splatter screen for this wreath, and I'm going to be using the one with the knob, but if you cannot find the one with a knob, use the one with the handle. It will work just fine. I'm just going to remove this knob. Now you could spray paint the splatter screen first if you would like, but we've been having some messy cold weather, and so I'm not going to be spray painting mine this time. But you're going to need a splatter screen, a sign, and you're going to need some floral picks. And everything that I'm going to be using for this wreath is pretty much going to be from Dollar Tree. I may use a little bit of ribbon that I picked up maybe at Sam's Club, but I will let you know in the description box below the materials list. So I'm gonna keep this one pretty simple because I know y'all like splatter screens because they're simple to make and yet they're very unique and very pretty and inexpensive too. So um, give me just a second because I think I'm gonna either put a tablecloth down or a towel to cover my table and we'll get started. But you're going to need some zip ties too, your hot glue gun, your glue stick, your scissors, some pipe cleaners, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be using um, just regular ribbon with wire or if I'm going to be using some deco mesh. And I'm also thinking about using some of these glitter hearts for this splatter screen read. Sorry if it's a little bright. Okay, so give me just a second. This is the barcode for the little red truck sign. I don't know if you can see it or not, just in case you want a screenshot yet. And I changed into a t-shirt. I just was getting too hot wearing my sweater. I'm sorry my voice sounds different. I actually think I'm getting a cold. Okay, so let's get started, guys. First, you're going to want to take some inexpensive pipe cleaners and hot glue them to the back of your sign and then set it aside and let it dry. And the reason I'm saying some inexpensive ones, you do not want to use the fluffy ones. You want to use the cheap ones like from Dollar Tree because if you use the fluffy ones, it is so hard to get it the pipe cleaner to thread through the splatter screen. So just use the Dollar Tree ones because they go through so much easier. And if you hear something, it's my little chihuahua. He's going through my Dollar Tree bags that I have in the floor. He just is very nosy. Okay, so I removed the knob and then I picked out some flowers. So I got two bunches of the red roses, one of the pink roses, and then two of the baby's breath. I think they were both called baby's breath. Let me double check, roses. It looks like both of them said baby's breath. Yes, they did, even though they're different. So this is what they look like. So first, you're going to want to get a zip tie close by. And for uh, using zip ties around my bouquets, I like to use the larger size. So I got two of those out, and they, it looks like, the package looks like this. I think my husband gets them at Harbor Freight. And so you're going to remove your tags off of your flowers. And these all came from Dollar Tree. And then you'll just want to fluff them a little bit. And you can fluff them more later on. But I just kind of like to separate them a little. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you'll want to put your taller picks in the back. And then I think we'll put like a red rose on the left and one on the right. And then the pink one in the center. And then some baby's breath up front. And I'm just going to kind of squeeze my bouquet together just like that. And then I'm going to take my zip tie and I'm going to zip tie my little bouquet together. And 
I'll take my wire cutters and trim off the extra part of the zip tie. Okay. Okay, so this is how it looks. Okay, so next you're going to want to decide where do you want to place your flowers on your splatter screen. So you'll need to take your little sign and your flowers and kind of play around to see what you like. So I really think I'm going with my bouquet of flowers at the top of my splatter screen this time and the sign down at the bottom. But to cover my splatter screen, first I am going to use some of these glitter hearts from Dollar Tree. And so I thought it would be neat to just take the bigger two or three and just kind of place them around. Let's see if I can pick it up so you can see. Kind of do it just like this, hot glue them on. So give me just a second and I'll be right back. Okay, be very careful when you're using your hot glue gun. Um, gotta be very careful and also be careful not to glue your splatter screen down to your table. So I just added quite a bit of hot glue to the bottom part of each of the hearts, hot glued them on and let it dry. And so this is the way it looks right now. And then next I am going to be adding my bouquet of flowers. And so you can go back and fluff them when you get finished. But what I think I'm going to do, and I'm just going to use, um, you can use floral stem wire or pipe cleaners to attach your bouquet to your splatter screen. But I think I'm going for, I don't know if I can get it where you can see it, but something like this. I want it so you can still see the top of the hearts. So I do want the flowers up high, but I want to leave enough room for the little red truck too. So let me see. I think I usually use floral stem wire, and this is the 20 gauge floral stem wire that I pick up at Hobby Lobby. It's Ashland brand, and it just says stem wire. 20 gauge and it comes in a pack with 30 pieces and so you can use stem wire or pipe cleaners whatever you would like and I usually cut this piece in maybe thirds so that I can wire things on okay so I'm just going to go right above the zip tie on my bouquet and I'm going to wire it to my splatter screen and this floral stem wire threads through really easy so you'll want to add a couple wires because you do not want your roses to fall forward. So I just go to the back and I give the wires a few twists. And I don't usually trim off the wires until I'm positive that I have it where that I want it to be. So you kind of just have to step back and look at it and see. And so I really think that I've got them up a little bit too high because I want, I don't know if you can see, maybe I can back it up. See, I want this part of the hearts to show a little bit more, so I'm gonna lower my bouquet down just a little bit, and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is how it looks. I took those last two pink hearts, and I hot glued them on also, and I was playing around with my little red truck, and let's see, let me show you. Okay, so basically, this is kind of awkward for me to do, so I hope you can see. But basically, I want my truck to sit just below the bouquet, but I want the glitter hearts, the pink glitter hearts, to cover up the splatter screen. So what I'm thinking is, you know I love to tie big bows, so I'm thinking about tying a bow because I want these streamers of the bow to hang down long and so give me just a second and I'll show you how I'm going to tie my bow and then after I have my bow tied I'll probably add my little red truck last okay guys I decided I'm going to use the Dollar Tree ribbon so everything's going to be from Dollar Tree for this wreath so very inexpensive, very affordable to make. So I want some long streamers. So I'm gonna let out probably about 15 inches 
before I start. And this isn't going to be a big bow because I have to have room for my truck. So I'm going to make a loop about this size and just pinch it in my hand. And I have a piece of floral stem wire close by. And if you have a design, sometimes you have to twist. Okay, so I want my design to stay on top. So I've got to twist to keep the hearts on top. So you want your loops to be about the same size on each side. Okay, and this ribbon doesn't go that far. So usually about one nice bow is about all you get. But I want to make two loops on the left, two loops on the right. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a twist, try to make my loop the same size as the first one. Same on the other side. Try to make my loops all about the same size. Okay. Okay, so now I have a double bow. Now I'm going to let out a tail about the same length. And then I'll go back in the end and dovetail the ends. I did dovetail this one. Okay, now I'm going to need my floral stem wire. And I'm just going to wrap the floral stem wire tightly around the center of my bow. Put the wire really tight around the center. And then this is how it looks. It's ready to be fluffed. So just fluff your loops. I'm sorry if you hear something. My little 12-year-old chihuahua is having a rough time. So if you don't mind, my praying friends, would you say a little prayer for my little chihuahua? Her name is Belle. She's really been having a lot of time getting around and seeing lately. And she's such a sweetheart. Okay, so this is how my little bow looks. And now I have to figure out, I usually put my bows you know, where they can definitely be seen. So I'm trying to decide, do I want to put my bow right here or do I want to put it below the truck? So I'm going to play around a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay guys, and this is how it looks. I did put the bow at the bottom. I still need to kind of fluff the loops and shape it a little better. But I want you to kind of be able to see. I'll hang it on my door in just a little bit, and that way you'll be able to see it more. But what I'm thinking is, um, I'm thinking about adding some of this tubing that I had left over from Christmas. I thought about adding a few pieces around the heart area, the pink hearts. And I also, I don't see it right now, but I've got some of those um, pink and red stickers, heart-shaped stickers from Dollar Tree, so I thought I would hot glue a few of them on. And then when I get it hung on my door, I will show you. So just a second more. Okay, this is the way the back looks. Now you can always take a Dollar Tree placemat or some felt and cover the back, that way it doesn't scratch your door or anything. But I always get questions about how do you hang a splatter screen. So I just usually take a piece of floral stem wire, find the top, thread the piece of wire through the splatter screen, and then make a loop. And give it a few twists. And then I just use this loop to hang it up on my door. And here it is hanging on my door. Now anywhere that you think you might can see the splatter screen, take a sticker and put it on your splatter screen to cover it up. So I just used some heart stickers and some uh, heart table scatter. And this is the way it looks. And make sure you always go back and fluff your flowers and then fluff the loops on your bow. And with this um, tubing I had left over from Dollar Tree at Christmas, I just kind of went back and forth in my hand, kind of made a bow, and then I just used the pipe cleaner that I attached the truck sign on with to twist. I just untwisted it and stuck the little tubing in, then twisted it right back so that I could have a little bit more tails hanging down on my bow. And that's it, guys. 
very simple and inexpensive and I think it turned out perfect for Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate y'all. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. It does not cost anything to subscribe. If you would like notifications for when I upload a tutorial, just click that bell and they'll send you a notification. I am also on Instagram and Facebook. If you have Instagram, find me at Keeping It Simple Crafts. And if you make one of these wreaths, please tag me. I would love to see it. Y'all are always just so sweet, so thoughtful, and y'all are so creative. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope everyone has a happy new year. Thanks so much for watching.